Before we jump into the video, I just want to apologize for the state of the audio. I'm currently in the Thai island of Koh Phen Yang at a co-working space with a private office, so there's definitely going to be a ton of echoing going on. Um, I have a normal mic, but I'm not in a normal situation, so I, apologize, so I apologize in advance for the quality of the audio in this video and potentially a couple more videos coming as well. What's up, Charles Goat here, and welcome back to another video, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through what is, in my opinion, the best keyword research tool on the planet, and it has come at no better time than the present, because, of course, a Ahrefs, which was the number one tool I was using before, is constantly down, it's constantly having bugs, even the keyword uh, research tool itself is constantly not loading data at the moment, I don't know what is going on, but the last several months, if not the last year or so, a Ahrefs has just been slow as hell and apparently if you use SEMrush it's now a war crime so I have been introduced to what is in my opinion and is what is a long time coming the best keyword research tool on the planet Lowfruits Lowfruits.io there is a link in the description down below if you want to use my affiliate link you don't have to of course but it would be awesome if you did so jumping straight into it uh, the first thing you're going to be logging into is this dashboard of course once you've verified your email address with them um, and you'll be able to get some credits now thank you to paul who's the owner he has sorted me out with a thousand credits on this account just so we can have an example account for you guys uh, to dive into some stuff so if you're wanting to actually build some keywords the first thing you want to go over to is this reports dashboard here and you can either import your list of your own keywords to get analyzed or you can go ahead and get keyword ideas so we're going to go ahead and use the get keyword ideas for this video there is other videos by paul on the importing section but for this one the entire point of most keyword research tools is to find keywords for you so once you've gone to this you want to start with your seed keyword and um, your seed keyword can also contain various different uh, asterisks and uh, at signs and things which mean various different things however with our seed keyword here we're going to be using um, a random niche so I'm going to be starting with for example best hunting and then I'm just going to put a asterisk here so in terms of this uh, asterisk here basically it's going to make sure that the keywords that it's going to display only contain this uh, amount of text within it so it's going to be best hunting something or the best hunting or something along those lines next up you can put your key you can put your domain in here so you can put your optional domain or you can put an estimated uh, domain authority this is the only thing that I don't particularly like about low fruits is that it uses DA right which is unfortunate because um, Moz's DA score is probably the worst out of like the big three scores that you can use uh, generally the link building and SEO community have moved over towards AHFDR or are using Majestic's trust flow those two are both better metrics however DA is still perfectly fine Moz didn't update last year to the index so that they have a lot bigger index and to their spam score so the domain authority should be more realistic than it was in years past however it's a, it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of an annoyance um so if you leave it blank and you leave both these blanks it will just default to your da being 20. uh but let's as an example because we're in the hunting niche let's say our D, da is a bit lower than that and let's say it's just 15 right uh next up you can choose your country and your language of course we're just going to be using the us for this one if you're going to be uh utilizing other keywords other languages other countries then you're going to be wanting to select your own one from the drop down here um however just just to bear in mind it's only tier one countries and some random ones like colombia um, and things like that in the uae there's not a whole massive list of countries just yet but i have spoken to paul it is within his um dev roadmap to add more and more countries to this list there's also several different languages however it is just the big uh, kind of european languages that are available there's nothing really else in there next up you have your negative keywords now this is where it gets really powerful because you're not going to be searching for anything that is completely irrelevant and you're not going to be putting um, anything that is going to be targeted towards a competitor's brand so as an example if you know you have a massive competitor in here for example if you're in the uk and you're in the sofa niche dfs is probably the biggest one so if i was to put dfs in here it would remove any dfs keywords related to that brand so i'm just going to leave it with the uh, default ones here this basically means that it will get rid of any ones with reddit quora forum near me or any specific countries that are in there as well you can also just remove if you're wanting to actually get keywords for the uk example or canada you can just go ahead and remove this and just put united states us usa etc so it's removing all of those keywords but we're going to go ahead and click find keywords for us now um, and this is going to take 
a bit of time. It says wait a few seconds for this to load. That should only take a few seconds. Here we go. It's found 234 keyword ideas. Now, this is actually uh, a bit of a lie from their side. Um, you actually get way more than 243 keywords. This is just the 243 main keywords that it has found. Um, and it's, it can do analysis and argument. So for, for totally free, it, well, it's not technically free, you pay one keyword uh, you pay one credit per keyword so you get these you get the initial load of keywords you can get them all for free just by clicking this or you can analyze those keywords so that you can have a look for uh, low da competitors you can have a look for um feature snippets you can have a look for all of that stuff so i'm going to go ahead and click this analyze uh, with the full keywords sometimes there's a third option but generally you want to just make sure it's anal analysis on all high intent keywords and once this is uh, off and running into the into the ether, it will take a few minutes. So normally it takes between two and 15 minutes to be able to get all of your keywords, uh, all of your keywords analyzed. However, it can take uh, considerably longer if you have thousands and thousands of keywords in there. Bear in mind that every single keyword that you get analyzed is one credit per keyword. So that means that I have spent for this singular report about 200 and something, uh, 240 or something credits, which I think works out if you actually paid for like the normal subscription, it works out to less than $2 or something, which is awesome for the amount of uh, research that you get. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here and I'm gonna jump back to when this video, uh, when this report, sorry, is complete. And the final thing I wanted to go over with Low Freaks was these boxes at the top, which is where you get even more keywords than you initially asked for in your suggestions. So the first one is questions. Um, questions is super easy. It's either going to be in your related questions or your people also ask box. That's where these are scraped from. It does tell you if they are PAA or if they are from the related searches text. Um, however, this is going to be definitely the one that is going to probably need your most amount of filtering just because there are going to be tons of questions that are completely irrelevant in here a lot of the time. And there's going to be a lot of questions that are going to inform you about specific types of products or specific equipment, specific keywords, specific brand names. Um, that actual users are using in these searches, right? When I'm guessing bee stingers and stabilizers and back quivers and all these kind of things. If you don't know hunting, I have no idea what it means, right? So this is definitely where you're gonna be using the most amount of filtering. Just remember that none of these get automatically analyzed and they're gonna be really expensive to start analyzing hundreds if not thousands of these every time you run a report because that's how many you do get back. Related is also where you get from the related searches and related um, uh, what's it called the drop down for the auto suggest as well. Um, and this is going to be including a ton more keywords as well. Again, a lot of them are going to be inaccurate or, or ir irrelevant. However, this is going to be generally more so on point than the questions because related is obviously more related to the actual specific uh, search intent than the questions because this is people also asking, etc. It's not generally too relevant. Um, the other one is comp those competitors. So this is all the competitors that are ranking for the keywords in your suggestions report. Um, and it's also going to be showing you the domain age and it's even going to show you the specific day it was registered uh, if you hover over it. Um, it's also got this, uh, the ads media, the ads monetization method. So this is Mediavine, this is AdThrive, this is Zoic. It makes it really easy to see some of your competitors and what the the ad platform that they're preferably choosing is, which means that when you're going to apply for them, in this one it seems that Mediavine and Zoic, which is again normal normal for most uh, search. However, the thing I really like about this is that it can really simply overview uh, low low competitor sites, right? So this is a DA10 site that is a year old. Um, and it's ranking for 29 different keywords in the main report, and it's also monetized on affiliate site. We'd already actually come across this site previously in the research, but if I just went straight to the competitors tab without even looking at any of the keywords, it's one of the first things that stands out to me, um, and it means that I'm gonna be able to do additional analysis around keywords that this that maybe the uh, suggestions hasn't picked up, but this site is also ranking for. So I really like this uh, page because you get access to very, very quickly and very simply see the competitors uh, that are kind of the weaker competitors on the board and see what they're monetizing with and they're also tagged in if it's a forum, if it's an affiliate, if it's an e-com store, all that good stuff as well. The only other one is clusters. Now this is the best page for individual page level creation because it's, gonna, it's going to cluster specific keywords around specific pages. So as an example, with the, if we wanted to make a best hunting dogs page, we automatically now have these six keywords already grouped that are gonna be most relevant to that page. 
and it then allows you to, to easily create headers. So I could create a H2 about the best hunting dogs for deer, or I could create a best hunting and family dog. I could create a H2 about the best hunting dog breeds. And this is all with only one page. So it allows you to create a really relevant and detailed page um, automatically with grouping the keywords so that VAs or your own SEO team don't have to manually search through the entire list and cluster them into the groups. So this is kind of automatically what SEMrush's clustering tool does. Um, but it does it straight up for you and everything and you don't have to pay for any reports and these little boxes are the number of low fruit uh, options that are in there so obviously if you see ones that have six out of six five out of five five out of five those are probably the pages that you're going to be wanting to build first because they're going to be the easiest they have multiple competitors uh, also they have multiple sites ranking within those keywords that are under DR, da or within da 10 so that makes it really easy to go and rank for and set up those pages straight away. And again, all of these pages should be individual pages as they are, the clustering is very good from this tool. It's really good. The only other uh, one is your website, which is a new tool. Again, you just go and simply add your websites and it tracks uh, the keywords from the reports in there for you. So that's about it from Low Fruits. It's a fantastic tool, in my opinion, the best keyword research tool on the market right now. And if you want to go ahead and use my affiliate link, you can click the link in the description down below.